so it is. guys, Kata Hain back again with some Dark Souls 3. Uh, a bit of an unfamiliar area for me, right? Unfortunately, this area is one of the, um, well, part of the content that I missed out on recording, because due to some recording issues. This is up above in Lothric, the high wall of Lothric itself, and of course we get taken down by some of the old harpies to get taken down to the undead settlement that there is Farring keep the flames burning of course there is uh, the longhouse where we fought the abyss watchers traveled down below into the cliffs i guess there and those cliffs led us down to the catacombs of karthus from there we popped out to ithril in the boreal valley which i think is that little tower peeking out there and if you could see just in the distance there's like a castle way out there and that place there that cathedral is where I'd like to be I believe that's the place I missed out on that uh, some of my friends namely my older brother got to first before he actually went and uh, did oh which boss fight was it I can't remember he did a boss fight before he uh, or he did that place before he went into a boss fight that I did before I did this, obviously. Anyways, that makes sense, doesn't it? No, don't worry about it. That's the tower where the old giant lives, so... Judging by the looks of it, we should be able to get to it from crucifix uh, Crucifixion... No, not the Crucifixion Woods. God, I can't say shit today. Through the Valley of Sacrifices, that's the way to get to there. Or, Road of Sacrifices. God damn, I, just should, I should just go to bed, honestly. Anyways... We are going to keep an eye out for that, but before we do, there was a couple of things I needed to clean up back back uh, behind here. Namely, a Red Eye Knight, and of course there was a Miss, the High Priestess of Lothric, whom gifted us the... Oh god, these guys are super simple now. She gifted us the Covenant of the, um, the Way of the Blue to protect us, right? So the Way of the Blue, the way that works is if you wear Way of the Blue, then Blue Sentinels will come in and help you out when you get invaded. I actually accidentally, actually I'm wearing the Blue Sentinels Covenant right now, so I could get summoned in to help fight off a Red Phantom if a Way of Blue member was threatened. I should take these guys seriously. Because they can still kill you. Everybody, everybody in the Souls games can kill you, even if you are like way over level. Especially if you don't take them seriously. It's hard to take this asshole seriously with this, with his train spearing. Ooh, -hoo, he might, he might punish me for that arrogance. Sit down, you ass. All right, so. Once upon a time, I was up in this area, and I stepped up these stairs, and to my horror discovered a red eye knight. I backed away like a stupid chicken, because I was afraid that he was going to beat my ass. And now, I'm back. And somebody else's ass is going to get beat. It's probably still going to be mine. But let's get it on. Oh, you buff your blade, you asshole. Okay, I was wrong. It's, ooh. I was about to say that I was wrong. It was definitely going to be his ass going to get kicked, but... Oh. Refined gem and... Oh, Lothric Knight Armor. Cool, so that's a nice little tidying up of things. What am I doing? It's a nice little tidying up of things left undone. The armor of celebrated Lothric Knight, of a celebrated Lothric Knight. The coat of distinction has all but fallen apart. The knight has served as one of the three pillars since ancient times. Shares its place alongside the wyverns as a symbol of Lothric. Only those possessing a knight's resolve are fit to wear this garment. Of course, very heavy, with some decent resistances. I wonder if we could wear it without getting fat roll. I really... Yeah, I doubt it. It looks quite nice. A little bit weird with the helmet we've got on, though. 
Nice, alright, well that was cleaned up really easy. I'm gonna go see if what's his face here. Old Miss has any new dialogue. There's a ladder behind her that really pissed me off that I couldn't get up it and Ooh, a lot of PvP going on here, as it seems the red phantom dying. Or is that always is it always red? I don't think so. Oh. Or maybe it is, just a lot of people dying. I wonder what they were fighting. What is wrong, unkindled one? Are you not a Lord Seeker? Is this not the calling of No, oh, she's just very condescending. Alright, yeah, no, I'll go, I'll go. I really kinda want to attack her. And I feel that's why everyone else has died. Go foe ahead, but no critical foe ahead. Huh. I wonder, I wonder if attacking here is the right thing to do. What's up, babe? Oh my, are you just gonna shield spam? Oh man. Get the hell out of here. Should we do it? Should we try to attack her? I feel like... I feel like it's the right thing to do. I haven't murdered any NPCs up until this point, but something something makes me feel like it's really important here, and I, I don't know. What is wrong? I is what on earth? Oh God! Oh God! What have we done? Lord, it must be my dear Prince Lothric. Basin of Vows. So, Prince Lothric. Uh oh. I figured as much. Hello, Kieran. It's been a long time, hasn't it? I see you've, uh... Gathered up a new vessel! Oh, you bitch! You cool bitch! I think that's a GG. Yeah, that's a, that was a one-hit GG. Son of a bitch. I figured that was going to be... Where the boss, the boss was. I knew, I knew there was something up with it. I recognized that cathedral. I was thinking to myself when I first went through, that's where, that's where the dancer is. That's the dancer of the frigid valley. Ah, uh, and of course, it's my speculation that she holds in her bosom one of my favorite characters from Dark Souls, uh, one, the Lord's Blade, Kieran, whom of course wielded a gold and silver tracer, two blades very similar to the blades that the frigid dancer wields. So hopefully we can uh, take care of her. Of course, all of the all of the people from the v frigid valley behave very much so like animals because they they've been possessed by they've been possessed by Pontiff Sullivan's gift to them. Oh man. The way she moves. Oh. This is gonna be a hard fight. I practice. I've practiced against the the swordsmen of Carthus. I know their ways. I feel like I can dance toe to toe with the frigid valley. Is 
The shifting sands are as deadly as a frigid dancer. Oh, uh. All right, babe. Come on, let's get that phase two going. Oh, that was, might have been bad. Gold Tracer deserves a better owner. Not you. Oh, there's Silver Tracer. Uh, now it's definitely become a song of ice and fire. Oh boy, she's got a spinning move. Return those blades. Those aren't yours. Oh, no! <laughs> she returned them directly to their sheath. My fucking chest. Damn. This is gonna be, this is, I think we're definitely under leveled for this fight. Under leveled and under equipped, but damn, how, it's gonna be like two back to back hard as nails fights, and I'm like, I'm so about that. I just wish I was kindled, that's the, my major concern. Her attacks are very transient, very ethereal. The hardest thing, I think, is going to be just simply avoiding oh, avoiding these goddamn knights. Is simply avoiding her attacks and then finding opportunities to strike. Her move set is very, very erratic. Of course, she goes to the grab in her phase one. Oh, man. Okay, she's gonna go for some sweeps. I love that the carpet slowly gets lit on fire as she strikes. She just has she has the the strangest timings. Oh, the whole church is going up in flames. Watch out. Uh, damn. The follow ups are brutal. Alright, alright. Oh, the washing pool. I wish the washing pool was uh, one of my favorite katanas of Dark Souls 2. No, Dark Souls 3. Wait, Dark Souls 3. That's what we're playing right now. Dark Souls 1. Thank you. Pretty sure you got the watching pole in Blight Town, though, which was, of course, one of Dark Souls 1's worst areas, and in my opinion, most poorly designed. Definitely the most poorly optimized areas. Regardless, this fight is amazing. And I'm sorry I'm not chatting as much about what's going on, because I, I don't know, just staying very aware of her movement is, I think, very important to... Oh. To getting totally one shot. Welcome to Dark Souls. God damn. Oh man, I really shouldn't be doing this in the state that I am. Ah, damn, damn, damn. It sh I gotta. I should have been upgraded. Oh, I want to do this fight though. Oh, I'll take. I'll take two more cracks at it, or at very least. We'll take a couple more cracks at it. If it doesn't seem like I'm making much progress, we'll go check out the Road of Sacrifices and we'll come back to old the old dancer and of course my my dear waifu, Kieran. I, I swear it's her. It must be. Alright, come on. Oh, she kind of she gets mad when you make the first move. She's definitely uh, 
the dominant one. I wonder if we could get her with poison. If maybe the trade-off between doing high damage with the Uchi Katana is worth trying to proc the poison. Oh, I think that looked like that was a proc of the uh, bleed, actually. Because if we can proc bleed, that is going to do a lot of extra damage. Oh, that's going to kill us. That's going to be a one shot. Ah, I was too greedy. Much too greedy. Alright, looks like we're switching over to the Black Blade, though. Since proccing bleed does a massive amount of burst damage, and I think that's going to be really helpful in this fight. Because you got to get in a limited amount of strikes, and you really need to capitalize on how much damage they do. So, you know what? I'm pretty confident. I don't know if the poison's gonna proc on her. The poison... I mean, a lot of bosses don't take poison damage. It's just a, been a bit of a staple of the Soul series. That there's... Oh, you... Hold on. Alright, that's gonna be a loss of one Estus Flask. That's okay. I feel like we're in a good place. And actually, I shouldn't have uh, healed there. I should have waited when I took damage from her, but hey... It'll probably, this will probably be, I think we're going to win the try after this. I don't, I'm not confident I'm going to win on this fight. I say that, I really should be more confident in myself. Then again, it's, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Bastard. Ugh. <laughs> uh, I swear I'm good at this game. I swear that I'm actually not that terrible. All right, let's let's stay focused. Keep it tight. This is just like uh, just like the Abyss Watchers. You be very careful with their moves. Watch what's going on. Avoid the boss rush enemies because fuck these guys. And just get right in there, just get right in there. And if we can kindle, we could also summon some co-op help, but you know, I don't I'm not a big fan of co-op help. I do like helping people in co-op though. He's got oh We wanna proc that bleed. And to proc the bleed, we have to do quite a few hits. Yeah, there we go. Actually, I don't know if that's a stagger or the bleed, to be honest. But if we can get the bleed going, or if we can get the poison going. Alright, you ethereal bitch. Uh, hey, come on, come on, I mean that. I mean that. You, you're you're a nice you're a nice lady. I I didn't say nothing mean about you. Oh, okay. Those sweeps, man. All right, she's getting real angry. Run in for the. Face stab. Getting some good dodges. Alright, I don't think the bleed is actually working. Yeah, it's just a stagger. Alright, here comes, here comes Silver Tracer. And she's gonna do her spinning attack. Hopefully she burns up before she gets too close. Okay. Alright. Oh man. I mean, she's got nothing but spinning attacks now. Send some dual wheel to hell. Can we get a sip in? Oh, we did get. We got a cheeky sip in. The whole church is just going up in flames. Ah, 
Opportunity for damage, good opportunity to heal. We got a lot of Estus. Alright, that's gonna be a big explosion. Oh, oh, oh we're so lucky. Alright, that was that was super cheeky on my part. Oh no, not with the dual stab, she got me again with that thing. Oh, damn you. Damn you, damn you, damn you. Alright, one more time, one more time. That stab is just, it's brutal. That is not an okay attack. From soft, come on guys, that's not nice. Definitely catches you off guard, and I think if you get hit, hit with the one, there's like no way that you're gonna survive. It's an instant kill. Of course, we could uh, improve our odds a little bit by just, of course, leveling up. Getting a little bit extra health, a little bit extra resistances. Get out of here. But such is life. Get the hell out. Oh, I did not want to do that. That last attack. You gotta really be careful with, um... How many times you press, uh... How many times you press the attack button while you're in the midst of a combo? It's really important because it'll chain up attacks afterwards if you got the timing just kind of off. And that means you might do attacks that you weren't expecting to. It's nice that you can stagger her. Oh, nope. I gotta get that heal off. But yeah, you have to really be careful because then you might end up chaining in an extra attack on your combo that you weren't prepared for, and then you're out of uh, stamina for your roll you need to dodge an attack. Now, I'm gonna hit you right in those butt. Right in the glutes. Oh, that was a bad. Damn. Oh. Ah, right as she goes in her face, too. Yeah, that's going to be another boss that we're going to have to come back to. Uh, more leftover rocks unturned in the high wall of Lothric. Neat, though, that you got to come back to this place to deal with a lot of content, just like spare content that's left over. So, other guys that I couldn't get the boss done this time. But we'll be back, and when we do come back, we're going to do the Road of Sacrifices, we're going to get down to the Cathedral, and hopefully that area won't kick my ass so much, and maybe that, I think that's the area that I'm actually kind of leveled for, or maybe I'll be over leveled, well won't that be nice, but uh, thank you for joining me, next time we will find our way over there, and of course, more Dark Souls 3, tons of more Dark Souls 3, we're going to beat the Frigid Dancer, 100%. And come back with a bunch of levels, and we're gonna beat her ass, and it's gonna be a total stomp. I love her fight; her move sets are really cool, but uh, just really difficult. And I think that if we had a little bit of an extra damage to our katana, we would be doing better. It just takes a little bit too long to get into the phase two and just deal with her health. So thanks for watching, guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Please leave a like if you like. If you dislike, please leave a dislike. Either one helps. Some feedback in the comments would be awesome. And if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. It's awesome to see and it really helps me get my stuff out there. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Look at that awesome, that awesome world design. See you later.